Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video I'm going to be making a good old fashioned project that lots of you guys will like hopefully. Um, what I'm making here is a very, very simple, but before you dislike and leave the video, it is very effective, so please stick around to the very end of the video just to see how much power it makes. Now, what you will need for this project, um, only a few things really. Your main thing being a um, ball or like a sport pump, potentially a small bike tire pump works, but this shape is ideal. You'll need a tube, any size as long as it connects to your bike pump, I'll get to that in a second. Um, optional is a wooden kind of gun design, this is from an old project I'll show you, but uh, you don't actually need that. Um, some thumbtacks and corks for your ammo, a hot glue gun, tape, and potentially a lighter for assembly. First you're going to want to um, take the pump and on mine the end of it had this little tube screwed into it. As you can see it's threaded on that end. So I unthreaded this, you will not need this. And then um, my plastic tube here, as you can see it's uh, pretty small and the diameter of this was a bit larger. So what I did with the lighter, uh, you can do too, was just take the lighter, I won't actually do it because I already did it, but make your flame and just go like this a few times over the edge of it until it gets a little hot. Um, not very long, don't catch on fire, of course. But then what you can actually do is um, melt it so the diameter gets bigger. Then you can squish it on top. As you can see, it's a little wider right here. And then I used some hot glue around here like I was welding and then finished off with some tape and then to test it what you want to do is simply open the pump put your finger on, finger on the end and then I'm closing the pump now and listen for air leaks there aren't any and if I take my finger off the air comes out there so make sure there's no air leaks um, between your pump and your tube Next, to build your body of the gun, basically you can design whatever you like, but in my apartment here, the only kind of materials I had was this old elastic gun. And if you guys like elastic guns, let me know. I'll give you a bonus clip here. Basically this design used to have a screw on the end, but you just clip it in the clothespin there. Probably the simplest elastic gun ever created. And then just put them on there like that. And just like that. If you want to see more elastic guns, let me know. They're easy to design. I can make simple, hard ones, whatever you want. Anyway, but for this project, we're going to say goodbye to the elastic gun and I'm going to I'm going to detach this from here and take the tape off the handle as well. Wow, this is a this is probably over a 10-year-old project as you can tell, elastic just broken in half. So there's my cleaned off base now. There was a screw here I removed too. So what we're going to do is simply attach the tube on top just like that. So to fire, it'll be easy to hold on to. Um, just go like that. This design has no trigger. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. But um, I'm going to hot glue here and wrap some tape around there for extra support if I need it. So there is essentially the final product of the gun. I have taped the top on, added some duct tape here just for a nice rubber grip. You could add some here too if you wanted for like a foregrip thing. And I added just for fun a little washer on the top of it to do like a little sight as you can see there. And now we're going to go ahead and start making the ammo. I'll put the gun over there. And so for the ammo, uh, my size barrel I have these corks that fit perfectly just nice and snug inside the barrel just like that and if I push harder basically the harder you push the more pressure that will build up and the faster the ammo will go but the longer you have to pump it for and to make it a little more exciting I also got some thumbtacks so on the thick end because the thin end goes into the barrel and on the thick end we are going to 
hot glue some thumbtacks just like that. Make it a little more dangerous because we like that. So here we are with the final design. Um, I've made up the darts. They look something like this. And now we are going to go ahead and do some testing of this um, with the dart pieces and see if they stick into various targets. Here we go for the testing. Over there I have set up a plastic protein bar, not protein bar, protein powder container. And it's pretty thin plastic, but Still, we're going to see if we go into it. If we do, we can move on to a tougher target. So as you can see, I loaded them in. And this one I pushed in a little bit, but not too hard. So if I pushed in harder, um, it would be able to go faster, but harder to shoot. Anyway, so now, probably hold on to something like right around here. Put it back all the way. And as you can see, once I start pushing, there's a little bit of pressure on it. So let's uh, see what happens. Okay, that one didn't puncture. I think I hit the side of it. The problem with this container, I don't know if you can see, I hit it right here on the top of the B, right there. You can kind of see that. But the problem is, is it's round, so if you don't hit it dead on, it won't go through. So I might try a shot at the lid, even though it's kind of hard plastic. If not, I may uh, do a little drywall shot, see what happens. If you were wondering, our ammo is holding up very nicely. It's not getting dull or anything. Um, and we're going to just move straight on to a drywall shot, which may not sound like a great idea, but it's kind of like you're just hanging a picture, right? Maybe if this works, we'll hang a picture using this device. So, uh, anyway, let's shoot it straight over there. So it's a little blurry. There we go. Under the drywall and see how it goes. That was dangerous. So there's no mark in the drywall, but it bounced back all the way over there. Luckily it didn't hit me. Let's uh, try and shoot something that maybe it will stick in. So for the last target of the day here, I have some bananas. And these shouldn't be that hard to penetrate with the darts. My gun did spring a little leak, so it's not as powerful. But uh, let's do it anyway right here. Okay, so I hit them. Let's go check out the damage. Not sure if you can see it on camera, but right there, there is a very little hole. Maybe if I squish it, some banana will come out. Yeah, that one right there. Anyway, um, bananas are actually too soft because, as you can see, just literally like that. So with the gun, it was like, it bounced right out of there. But anyway, um, there's the gun. It is actually surprisingly powerful. I'm sure you have the stuff around your house to make it, but um, I'm sure you'll enjoy the project. Really easy. It's powerful. If you don't attach the darts to it, these can easily fly across your room, depending on, again, how hard you squish them in. But with the darts, they're a little more dangerous. And maybe if you shot a cork board or something, it would stick. And you have to make sure they're completely straight. 